Okay, we're all set. We got what five here? We had six. One guy took off. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Yep. When I got home, the uh, eagle was in the middle of the uh, the deck here. I was over in Prince Edward Island for a little visit, and I picked up some nice clippers for the. Oh, there's a little skinny guy. Here. See if he. Anyway, I bought clippers for to do uh, Connor with to get his knots out here. Don't have to take him to the vet all the time. Yes, I see you here. And um, everything went well. The places I had to go to, I got to get all my business done. And uh, so happy and everything. I got to visit some friends. And I got off the boat. In Nova Scotia, well, I was just livid. I did everything I had to do. I had to have a special pass to go on Prince Edward Island, which I did. I had my my certificate for inoculations. Had that. Showed them my driver's license and all the other ID I had. Had, had myself swabbed. My results were negative. I get off the boat in Nova Scotia and the guy says, where's your pass for Nova Scotia? I said, I live here. I said, I had to get one to go to PEI, but I don't need one to come home. Oh yeah, you got to have one to come home. Well, you better call the Mounties. I said, because <laughs> I'm going home with or without your permission. And uh, he said, well, they, they just made the law yesterday. And I said, well, I never heard about it. And uh, you imagine now, I get to get a pass to come back. I was only over there like five hours max. And I have to get another pass to come back. So anyway, <clears throat> I went online there to see about it. And I have to do this every trip. I'm, if I make any trips over there, I gotta get a pass made every day. But the PEI pass I got is good for the whole year. But Nova Scotia wants one. Every time you go over there, they want. Now they want me to self-isolate. And <laughs> and I passed a negative test there today. I was negative. Well, I got tested last week too, and I was negative. And so now they want me to do a 14 day, and I said, I'm not doing that. I don't have to. I already uh, I already tested with the Department of Health in Prince Edward Island. Well, I'll tell you. Anyway, I'm done going over there. I'm not going over there anymore. So, PEI, you just lost a good customer because of the idiots that are running our government here in Nova Scotia. I can see making uh, somebody from New Brunswick, you know, get a pass and everything. Because I had to have one for PEI. Or PEI might have a pass to go over here. But uh, to make me have one to come home, that just doesn't make sense. Because Prince Edward Island people, they don't have to have a pass to go back home. So, what an outfit. Anyway, I was not happy with that guy at the, at the border. He uh, he was kind of mouthy too, and of course I I get a big mouth too, and I let him have it. I said, "You're just a I want to be police officer." I said, "I said I was a police officer." <clears throat> Very ignorant. He said, well, I guess you'll have to go then. I said, oh, I'm going, whether you like it or not. I'm going home. I said, I got raccoons here waiting on me. 
whether you like it or not, I'm leaving. Isn't that right, fellas? I had to come back and get you, fellas. Yeah. Here. Come on. What a stupid setup. And then I watched the ball game in the Dodger Stadium. 60,000 people sitting together, no masks on, no nothing. And we're sitting here, and they won't even let us travel from province to province. Doesn't make sense. Here, there's a skinny fellow there. Anyway, I was I was I had such a good day over there and got all kinds of shopping done and I got to visit my buddy that owns the the, the uh, Brits Fish and Chips place and I'll throw that in there for you there and. Um, Stopped in to see Robin on the way home, and but uh, that was the killer when I got when I get on my side of the. I mean, I mean, my the P and the cars held up. Nobody had passes. I don't know what they're going to do with them. <clears throat> there, somebody made a noise and they all took off. Here. Somebody made a noise. You only need one raccoon to go take off and it'll, it'll uh, wreck the whole crew. Here. He likes to fish them out of the water. He doesn't want to pick them up off the, off the, uh, the ground. So that was the first I heard of. And of course, I haven't been watching the news either. But uh, never thought they would stop me from coming home. I mean, uh, I was talking to a friend of mine in Prince Edward Island, and they, they're allowed to go home. And the Brunswick people are allowed to go home, but no, no, you can't come home to you're Nova Scotia. I don't know what these guys were doing with the uh, with the igloo. It was out here in the middle of the floor when I got home tonight. So, so I got new cut, uh, new clippers for Connor. I got to charge them up, and uh, they're very expensive. They're almost three hundred bucks. The real good ones, same ones that the vet uses. So instead of taking him to the vet, I can do it myself. But with Con with Charlotte, she got no knots. But with her, you got to take her to the vet. Never put sleep. She sees me come with a pair of scissors, she takes off like a shot. There. You got it? I got your bum. What do you got on the top of your bum? You got a burdock? You want me to get that out for you? Too bad Big Ben wouldn't come out and, and buddy. Anyway, I'm going to take a break and uh, we'll have to do a second video, I guess. Those dogs ruined it. For the first one, they were all, all they were all here and they started barking. It, the whole place just cleared out. And then, and then we start to have more here and then some idiot went down the road with a loud muffler. But again, the police don't care. They did. They get better things to do. They got to go get their donuts and coffee at exit 23. I'm not talking municipal police. I'm talking federal police. <clears throat> you guys should be ashamed of yourselves the way you guys conduct your business around here. Terrible. <clears throat> I know when I was an RCMP officer, I cared about my work. You guys don't seem to care about nothing. <clears throat> and
And they're ignorant. Oh my God, they're ignorant to you. I treated everybody with respect and, you know, we all got along with everybody in the community, but not here. <clears throat> even the local police don't even like them. I can't say I blame them. Because I know when I first went on the, the local police here, they didn't trust me at first because I was a Maudi, eh? Come on, here. Here. What's that racket? Here. You got it? Here. But for the money that the RCMP is making now, I mean, they're making like $100,000 a year. Do you know what I made? 6700 a year. <clears throat> and worked twice as hard. We never got overtime or nothing back then. <clears throat> These fellows just spoiled rotten. with the big vests on and all this stuff and all this stuff on their belt. We had no vest. I had a, I got a sidearm, uh, it was an old 38, and uh, a handcuff pouch on the right hand side. And that was it. That was all. I'm, the only thing on my belt. We had no nightsticks. <clears throat> we didn't need them. We talked our way out of everything. I guess on a gun belt today, it's like 65 pounds worth of gear on it. Here. Here, I'll throw it in the water. Here, go in the water and get it. There. There, you got two. Go get them. Here. Sammy, come here. Sammy. Sammy. What do you see? There's nobody out there. Come here. There you go. You get two in the water. <clears throat> so anyway, I, I was really upset there tonight because what was I supposed to do? Go back to Prince Edward Island and live? What were these guys going to do? <clears throat> Just didn't make sense. And, and it's not like I was over there overnight. I was there from, uh, I landed there at 9.30 this morning. And I, I went home at 3.30 this afternoon. You know, I was, I was at the boat at 3.30. And, uh... You're looking at six hours. That's all I was there. Yeah. But I agree with PEI with the past business and I I conformed to it and I went over, I made nine trips over there, never had a problem. It's only coming back. What is that racket? It's a funny noise. Like a rumbling noise. Where's Woody? Where's Buddy? Where's all the gang? Huh? Where is everybody? They were all here earlier until the, the idiots start winding up with the, the mufflers and the dogs and everything else. Yeah, Come here. Here, Rusty. There you go. Oh, I just feel rain on me. Yep, starting to rain. 
course, the weatherman said it wasn't going to rain, but you know, how much does he know? There it is. It's coming down good now. Here. What is that rumbling noise? It's a weird noise. Yep, there comes the rain. <clears throat> what do you think, guys? We we'll get some dry there. Do you want do you want the rest of these? Uh, you want the rest of these? Huh? Here. There, go get your own. Can you get them? Go get them. There's another fella coming. Well, they're all coming now. You want a hot dog? Here. Come here. There you go. You want one? Here. Grab it. There you go. It's that noise. It's like a rumbling sound. It's not a car or nothing. Here. I went to uh, Brett's Fish and Chips there in uh, in Charlottetown, and I'll tell you, I don't know what he does with his fish, but I'll tell you, he does some good. He um, and I tried out his uh, deep fried mushrooms. They're homemade mushrooms that are uh, like he has them dipped in his own batter and everything, and he deep fries them. My God, they're nice. Yeah. So I had to order that and, uh, and the, just the one piece of fish, but my God, the fish was just... I'm not a big fish eater, but my God, his was really good. Yeah. And he's got my uh, my stickers all over the, the bar. I'm just going to throw these out here and let them fend for themselves. Cause I got a lot of stuff to put away yet. I bought a um, a bar there that uh, you know, like a strong bar with a quarter inch drive, and it's uh, I never seen one before, so I, I grabbed it, and it extends out. Like if you have to take a there's that racket again. So if you have to take um, a wheel off, you can extend the bar as long as you want. So, there. And then I bought a, um, a torque, torque wrench too because I needed one of those. So, And I bought a special stool for in the barn. It's, um, it's on wheels. That creeper stool are called. So they were on sale, so I got them. So I got that. I went to visit Robin over there in uh, Stratford. She's uh, she still got the people there fixing the house. She had a bad flood there with that heavy rain they had. I'm gonna throw one of these hot dogs there. Throw these other two right in the eagle there.
What do you think, fellas? We'll call her a night? I'm going to call her a night because I'm tired. I wanted to sleep last night. Mr. Connor wouldn't, he wouldn't let me go to sleep. Kept coming in, jumping up top of me. What is that racket? It sounds like a rumble. I don't know where it's coming from. Anyway, I'll put this inside here. I'll put the light on. I think we're done for tonight anyway. I think the dogs kind of ended everything. I'll, I'll check for a bedtime lunch. Might get, uh, might get Woody here, but if he is, I'll give it a, another video. So, Here's Charlotte. Where's the other fella at? I gotta. There's a special store over there in Charlottetown. Every time I go into that, I love these wagon wheels. And there's uh, 40 in the box. And there's only one store over there you can buy it. You can buy other, like, cereal and all that stuff. And I bought this, um, I bought this at a novelty store. It was half price. It's a little um, lighthouse. So I'll put that up in the living room. And all my other stuff's out in the barn that I bought. And I took some pictures with the... Uh, with the GoPro, that <laughs> thing just fits in your pocket and away you go. What do you want? What? 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 I fed you. You had a whole can of food. What? What? What do you want? You can't be hungry. Connor? You're not hungry. No, you're not. You were fed first. As soon as I get in the door. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? How hungry are you? Huh? You better not wake me up tonight. He kept me up all night long and I I very little sleep and go and get up at five o'clock in the morning and go traveling. Yeah. Every half hour he'd jump in the bed to see what I was doing. Didn't ya? Huh? Yeah. What do you think, Charlotte? You going up too? <laughs> Alright, people. If uh, if we get Woody and uh, Buddy and all them up there, I'll do another video. If not, this will be it. <laughs> anyway, talk to you later, guys. Sorry about the venting. I'm just frustrated with our government and who isn't <laughs> uh, anyway talk to you later